Spaghetti squash. That's not spaghetti squash. This is spaghetti squash on CUI today. Hello, welcome to Cooking Out of the Influence with me, your host and chef du jour. I'm Sean. I'm a live studio audience. You know Mark from previous episodes. I was in sort of a vegetarian mood, even though I just had a hamburger for lunch. But before we start cooking, as all good chefs know, we need a drink. Yay! What are you drinking? What are you drinking? I was in a scotch mood. Why not? You want some scotch? Price is right. Fair enough. Scotch on the rocks. Why do we call them rocks? It's ice. It's not rocks. I can give you a slice of lime. That's gross. I have bitters. Well, let's not talk about your personality, though. Hmm. Well, it wasn't a Scotch mood. That's exactly what I wanted. Mm. That's more English than American, isn't it? Um, it's Scottish. That's why they call it Scotch. <laughs> How do you do spaghetti squash? It's real easy. Hollywood implants. Movie looking at Hollywood implant things. Spaghetti squash. Do that. First, we're going to preheat our oven. 350. Sure. Sounds good. All right. Mm. All you got to do with these, slice them down the middle, lengthwise. Oh, my God. Okay, I say all you gotta do, this is apparently going to be an issue. A hacksaw might be better. Get out the circular saw. Alright. It's it supposed to be like that? I don't think it is. <laughs> Spaghetti squash is the Excalibur <laughs> test of a chef. But don't put your fingers here. Just don't put your hand here. Just, I will put your hand here. Alright, get a friend to help you. Or if you can't find a friend, settle for me. <laughs> Saw does a great job on the cutting board. I see that. There. There, see? Simple. I'm kind of glad we did that before we had too much to drink. Indeed. Like a big squash, like a butternut or a pumpkin or something. It's got all these seeds and fibers in there. We gotta gut those out. D and C time, huh? Yeah, it's kind of like a DNC. How do you vegetarians do this all the time? Because this is a little bit of a pain in the ass. So what does one do with all those innards? Uh, funny you should mention that. You know who would love that? Is the chickens. What do you think of that? Oh, they do like it. Gadzooks, they're eating it. They're enjoying that. These things are like garbage disposals. They're amazing. Chickens! These are reasonably well hollowed out. We got all the guts out. So what do you do with them now? Take a little pan, put a couple of cups of water in there. It does look like butts, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. 350 degrees, uh, like, I don't know, 35, 40 minutes. All right, we're making spaghetti squash. Let's make a spaghetti sauce. Hey, I'm, you know I don't make spaghetti sauce. I'm going to buy it and then doctor it up. So we'll get some marinara. You did your girl named marinara? That name sounds familiar. Was she very saucy? Mm. She must have been one, one hot tomato. Ah! <laughs> so what's the best way to get all the extra out of there? Vodka. Haven't you heard of vodka sauce? Yum. I'm not going to peel and seed and roast tomatoes because that's boring and it's what Italian grandmothers do and I'm not an Italian grandma. So we're just going to get some regular tomatoes. I always had a hard time understanding the difference between Italian and Jewish mothers. Because they all sound the same! And they both wave their hands a lot. They do! And they're worried about their sons! Oh, my son the doctor! You could have been a lawyer! Our tomatoes all chopped. Throw them on in there too. A couple of leaves of basil off the plant in the garden. I only got like three because these are pretty potent. You don't need a whole lot. I'm going to make a little roulade. Just roll them into a little rooly thing like that. And chop back. A little bit of basil. Nice big mound of garlic. Lovely. Potent. These are oyster mushrooms, which are tasty and so weird looking. 
oyster mushrooms. Yeah. And if you feel it sticking to the bottom of the pot, take it out the heat, let it cool. And since I happen to have regular mushrooms, and we're making this mushroom sauce, let's do that too. Do you want to put eggplant in here? Why not? We can do eggplant. Why not? Can't hurt. Might help. Where's that eggplant? Think fast. I don't catch. Let's do it with the eggplant. This one, I pulled this off the garden, off the bush in the garden today. So what the hell, let's throw that in there too. Homegrown eggplant. Homegrown. No preservatives. No chemicals. Well, everything's made of chemicals. You got me there. But this is like full of chunkiness here. I made a roast the other day and I had all this gravy left over. All this oh, juice. So let's thin it out with that au jus. Awesome. Alright, so that is gonna oh, shit. God damn it. Stew for an hour or so while our which are cooking. Wait, no, I've been neglecting my drink. This is tragic. Alright, we can keep dolling up this sauce too. This is some just Italian seasonings. So what would you call Irish seasonings? Um boiled. Actually in Ireland they use white pepper a lot. Like in a, in a vegetable soup. Oh, so good. Get on the spicy side, go get you a little ripe jalapeno off the bush in the garden. Throw that in there. Why not? You do have jalapeno bushes in your garden, don't you? I think I just said that. I'm talking to you two people. You have jalapeno bushes in your garden, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Those are nowhere near tender. So we're just going to hang out and wait. Which gives us more time to drink. We can do that. Yay! This took way longer than I thought. This took like an hour for these things to get reasonably tender. Alright, so we're going to take those out. And now we got to wait yet again for them to freaking cool down. God almighty. This is like a vegetarian thing, which I don't usually do because there's all this waiting. With meat, it's like, you know, fry it up and make a sandwich and you're good. But with this, it's like a preparation. Oh, look, it's time for another refill. Yay! This thing needs to cook. Wow, what happened? All the liquid disappeared that quickly. It's like 30 seconds and all the liquid went away. What the hell happened there? That's bizarre. Okay, so while we're waiting for those to cool down, we're going to put our last little herb that vegetable you don't have to worry about parsley. That'll parsleyfy. Parsleyfy. That's a new verb I just thought of. Parsleyfy our sauce. Oh, there's all the water. Look, all the water was like oh. in there. Slanting towards It all the came out when I took, turned it over. It has to do with physics. The last step of the spaghetti squash feast, pain in the ass bill meal. We've done this whole vegetarian thing, which is awesome and great, but you know what? I wouldn't mind a little meat. <laughs> How about some sausage? Wow, that came out really dirty. Was, that's not suggestive at all. Meat out of the casing, into the pan, and just brown it. What are we doing with this spaghetti squash? Why is it called spaghetti squash? Let's find out. This is a fork. You've heard of them. And we're just going to do this. And spaghetti squash comes out in all these delicious little fibers. These shreddy spaghetti kind of bits. There's a nice big blob of... Uh, Blop. Spaghetti squash. All right, put a little bit of uh, sausage on there. You don't have to put the sausage. It's totally optional in case you want to be all vegetarian and shit about it. This looks really nice. All these bits and pieces of eggplant and mushroom. And this is quite tasty. This came out better than I expected. Hey. Look how hot. Water? Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of work, but it was worth it. It's kind of worth it, yeah. So, enjoy your spaghetti, squash, mushroom, marinara, sausage, whatever. Till next time, thanks for watching. Adios and bon appetit. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed.